What is air mass astronomy? In astronomy, air mass or air mass is the path length for light from a celestial source to pass through the atmosphere. As it penetrates the atmosphere, light is attenuated by scattering and absorption. The thicker atmosphere through which it passes, the greater the attenuation. Consequently, celestial bodies at the horizon appear less bright than when at the zenith. The attenuation known as atmospheric extension is described quantitatively by the beer lambert boga law. Air mass normally indicates relative air mass, the path length relative to that at the zenith at sea level so, by definition, the sea level air mass at the zenith is 1. Air mass increases as the angle between the source and the zenith increases, reaching a value of approximately 38 at the horizon. Air mass can be less than 1 at the elevation greater than sea level. However, most closed form expression for air mass do not include the effect of elevation. So, adjustment must usually be accomplished by other means. In some fields such as solar energy and photovoltaics, air mass is indicated by the acronym AM. Additionally, the value of air mass is often given by appending its value to AM, so that AM1 indicates an air mass of 1, AM2 indicates an air mass of 2, and so on. Look into this, atmospheric electromagnetic transmittance or opacity. Can you memorize what is air mass astronomy? In astronomy, air mass or air mass is the path length for light from a celestial source to pass through the atmosphere. As it penetrates the atmosphere, light is attenuated by scattering and absorption. The thicker atmosphere through which it passes, the greater the attenuation. Consequently, celestial bodies at the horizon appear less bright than when at the zenith. The attenuation, known as atmospheric extension, is described quantitatively by the beer lambert boga law. For inspiration, Mystics of the Portals of Discovery, James Joyce.